Tom Ziegler with MMA on the Rise. We were recently at Fight Lab 26 in Charlotte, North Carolina for the 145 pound title fight between champion Solon Staley taking on the challenger, slick submission specialist, Jared Miller. Stay tuned for this one. This fight is brought to you by Any Lab Test Now. All the best fighters get their blood work at Any Lab Test Now. <laughs> Over 150 convenient locations. Fighter panels include HIV, hepatitis B, and C. Only $89. No doctor's orders needed. <laughs> In and out 15 minutes. Fighting is in your blood. Make sure nothing else is. DJ A-Rock, here to be the challenger, Jared Miller. MMA on the rise here at Coyote Joe's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Fight Lab 26. This is going to be your 145 pound title fight. Paul Boo, Tom Ziegler, cage side with your commentary. Jared Miller making his way to the cage. Jared Miller is going to be uh, taking on Sloan Staley. Uh, we've seen Sloan Staley fight several times recently. Um, Jared Miller's got a tall task ahead of him, but uh, Jared Miller's also an athlete. No question about that. Miller's coming to the cage with a six and one record. He's five foot nine. He'll have a little bit of a height advantage over the champion Staley. Five rounds, five four minute rounds for amateur title fights here in North Carolina. Getting a good look at uh, Miller as his uh, cornerman grease him up and get him ready to enter the cage. Little run DMC, a little old school for Jared Miller. Yeah, liking it, Tom. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, these lighter weight guys um, in their title fights, it really is an entertaining fight. Uh, first off, the pace, the intensity that these lighter weight guys set, as well as the fact that it is a title fight, so it's five, four minute rounds. Sometimes with the heavier weight guys, they run out of steam in the later rounds, whereas these lightweight guys tend to just go on for days. High action fights. Now, Miller's coming to the cage with a four win fight streak. DJ A-Rod bring to me Solar Staley. Now here is your champion, Solon Staley. This guy's a little ball of muscle. No question about that. I mean, that, that's that's the, the, the thing is uh, Miller's going to have the reach advantage, but Staley's definitely, well, I'm not going to say definitely, you never know, but my guess is going to have the strength advantage here. Yeah, he's got speed, he's got power, he's explosive, he's combustive, very fluid athlete in the cage. You see he's strapped up with his, with his belts there. And uh, not short on confidence as Solon Staley. Yeah, this guy's uh, got good submissions, uh, just good overall, uh, but also has knockout power. Um, you know, Miller is going to really have to, I think, going to have to use that reach uh, to, to keep Salone away from him. Now, I don't know what uh, what Miller's game plan is here. Um, he's he's going to just, but but I think the reach is, is definitely an advantage he's going to have. And if, if I was his corner, I'd be suggesting for him to use it. Well, Miller seems to be uh, fairly well rounded. He's got a lot of submission wins as well as TKO wins. But uh, Salone Staley, uh, a different animal. Now, he won his Fight Lab belt against Mike Powell, which was a, a beautiful knockout down in Shaw Air Force Base. Um, Fight Lab 23, I believe it was. Yeah, we were there for that one, and, and that was a amazingly fast knockout. It was not expected at all. Um, you know, that was a fight that was expected to be a very tough fight. 
and Staley just went through him like he wasn't there. I think it knocked him out inside of 30 seconds, I believe. It was a lot to do, I think, with the mental game there, too. I mean, he was he really got in his head before that fight. You could see him coming over. Some of the same type of gamesmanship. He really likes to get into the head of the other fighter, try to intimidate him. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Sticky Fingers. Upper deck, Sticky Fingers, make some noise. First, let's meet the challenger for the featherweight title. This young man is a boxer, a wrestler, and a jiu-jitsu practitioner. He comes to us from Fury Quaver Arena, North Carolina. They announced Solon Staley as having 13 wins. Uh, there's probably some non-sanctioned bouts on, on his record um, that they're, they're using. Uh, there's sometimes fights will not show up on a guy's official record if it's uh, done in a non-sanctioning state. Virginia being an example of that. Both fighters enter the center of the cage. Going through their feel-out process. Trading some kicks there. Staley comes over the top of that right hand over top of uh, Miller's uh, jab there. Now they got to uh, lock up against the cage. Miller is actually driving. Uh, Salone's actually locking in a guillotine there. Yeah, he's got a powerful guillotine. You can see the arms actually drop down to, to pull guard to finish it. Uh, Miller was able to uh, uh, run past the legs and defend, but uh, he's under the he's under the chin here. Yeah, Staley doesn't let go of it, and uh, he's got him in half guard. It's it's hard to finish from half guard, um, and it, I believe he's got an arm in on the far side. We can't really see from our angle, so that's going to be a hard guillotine to finish. But Staley, being as strong as he is, he might be able to muscle it in there. It looks like uh, Miller's starting to pass now. If he gets that knee out, it's, the choke's going to be gone. Up. Oh. Staley keeps resetting back in for it. Yeah, it is definitely an arm in guillotine, which is, can be finished but a little harder. Oh. Yeah. Nice slam. Staley scrambles back up and keeps that guillotine. <laughs> wow. He's tenacious <laughs> on that thing. Like yeah. a little pit bull latched onto it. He's not letting it go. Miller did the right thing to, to try to pick up Staley and slam him and end up in side control on the opposite side of the guillotine, which is the proper defense. Uh, but uh, Staley just scrambled right back up and kept the guillotine. Yeah. A lot of guys make a mistake because they will pick a guy up out of guillotine and try to slam him, but they'll slam him right back down in the guard, which makes it tighter. Miller's doing the right thing by trying to pass over to side position. Uh, finally, uh, Staley lets it go. Uh, but it... He's climbing back up again. I don't know if he's trying to set it up again or if he's just trying to pull guard. Miller's got double unders here. He's in Staley's actually giving him a reap. He should be able to get it down. Yeah. Miller is uh, good hips by Staley there, stopping the takedown. Um, 
Miller's actually seems to be controlling using, uh, seems to be the stronger of the two fighters, which is surprising. Uh, I suspected that Staley was going to be the stronger of the two. Well, he's definitely using his, his height leverage well. Yeah, and, and, and that leverage, if you know how to use it correctly, it does, it does play a factor for sure. Champion Staley against the cage. They're going to have to work a little bit here. Uh, yeah, they should break them. Yeah, Fry's going to step in and break them if they don't start getting some action here. I mean, Miller does have the control up against the cage, but he's not doing a whole lot with it. He's tried a couple small attempts, some takedowns. Uh, nice knee there. Yeah, Staley seems to be relaxing against the cage, taking his breath. Doesn't seem to be overly worried here. He's got a deep underhook on his left side. He uh, goes to the body lock. Yeah, Staley has a double unders now, so... Oh, but Miller's able to, well... Yeah, uses a wizard and gets a gets a throw. They scramble, but nice job, both fighters. Yeah, tries to complete that uh, inner thigh, or also known as an Uchi Mata, but uh, uh, Salone with good hips is able to uh, stop it. Here's the end of round one. I'm Alan Greenway, rapping the Body Quest Warrior Nathan Torres' hands. When I'm not doing this, I'm watching MMA on the prize. Championship bout. Honestly, in that round, not a ton of action. Uh, Solon Staley did land a right hand over the, over the top. Uh, but outside of that, Miller, Miller seemed to control most of the, of the round. Yeah, if going strictly off cage control, certainly uh, you got to give the round to Miller. He dominated the, uh, the positioning on the cage. Actually got a, a, a good slam, even though Staley popped back up. Yeah, but Staley also had a close submission attempt. So, you know, you can, you can really score that anyway. Uh, honestly, it's going to really depend on, on how the judges are scoring because there's several criteria, grappling control, cage control, overall aggression, um, you know, strikes landed. But there wasn't a lot of striking, honestly, other than a, a few basic knees, uh, a lot of scrambles. Real quick, Angela Williams bought me beers. He ain't giving no tickets, but I got beers. I think I would probably give that round to Miller, but it could go either way. Here we go with round number two. Sloan coming out a little bit more active with the leg kicks. And Miller returns. Looks like he was checking it either. Uh, it might have been a coveted. I think it might have just been grease on his head. A little extra grease. Good left hook. Miller's using that range pretty well right there. Uh, Staley's trying to stalk in on him, and Miller's uh, using that range, keeping him on the outside. Yeah, he's using the jab, the left hook, the front kick. He goes in for a shot. Staley's going at Armin Guillotine again. He is, yeah. Miller <laughs> looks like he doesn't like it. Yeah, he taps. He's got it. Wow. 
There's something to be said about uh, locking in on something and being determined to get it. And Staten just proved it. <laughs> and I believe that was his third attempt on the same submission, and he finally locks it in. He's a powerful, powerful athlete, as we did, we said before the fight. He bulldogs that guillotine. Gets the win. Remains your Fight Lab featherweight amateur champion, Solon Staley. Good showing from Miller, but uh, Staley, once he locks it on, holy cow. Good challenge uh, from Miller, but Staley closes the distance, locks in that guillotine choke, retains his featherweight title. You are watching MMA on the Rise. And that'll do it for our show this week. Make sure to like us on Facebook, check us out on YouTube, follow us on Twitter. We'll see you next time on MMA on the Rise.